Welcome back everyone to another Marvel video. I've been so excited to make this video and unfortunately since these are only on Mondays I had to wait a full week before making this video um, But we are back and just like always I'm not responsible for your lack of knowledge So if, if you don't know what I'm talking about in this video, just click off It's probably for your own better mental health so you don't go completely crazy But in this video, we're not gonna be talking about too much like crazy theory or anything in detail or anything crazy that No one has ever thought of or stuff like that Today, we're just going to be talking about a little really cool thing that happened to me uh, around two weeks ago. Uh, and you know what? Let's get into it. So, a couple weeks ago, May 3rd was the exact date. Marvel released um, kind of like a trailer and a montage uh, on May 3rd. And it was called Marvel Celebrates the Movies. And it was about... Basically, Marvel released a bunch of new footage to us. And they also gave us a bunch of dates for Phase 4 movies, which I'm really excited for. And before I actually explain what happened, I'm gonna just kind of talk about what the trailer was about. And if you've already seen the trailer, you've already seen the trailer. Anyways, it was probably one of the coolest trailers Marvel has ever released released anyways as i was saying basically marvel released a, a trailer and they released a bunch of new movies so at the start of the trailer they kind of just montaged a bunch of old uh clips from marvel basically they just you know kind of went over old marvel footage and uh the really cool thing about it was it was actually commentated in stan lee's voice which i thought was absolutely awesome um but besides the point uh, including Stan Lee, basically there was just a montage of a bunch of clips of Marvel movies, and then after that there was actually like a live audience reaction of uh, Avengers Endgame where um, Captain America lifted Mjolnir, and uh, I think that was super cool. I think it's kind of ironic because um, video recording in movie theaters is actually illegal, except Marvel themselves released um, Captain America lifting his hammer literally <laughs> in the movie theater. I, I don't know, I just find that really funny. Uh, anyways, after that that, basically, um, the montage kind of faded into, like, um, the clips faded into the, uh, Marvel starting, uh, trailer pre-roll, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. You know that little, like, uh, thing, the comic book, uh, sound flappy thing it does? You guys know what I'm talking about. It's the, it's the, like, it's their trademark, you know? Anyways, basically they did that, and then they went into a bunch of, like, really cool footage and dates for movies that we haven't seen yet, um, and these are actually all of them. I have taken the time out of my day to, um, get a hold of all of them and uh i think i think these are the ones so i think it was black widow shang chi eternals spider-man no way home um which we've already know about we already know about most of those already but we got dates for uh doctor strange multiverse of madness we got dates for thor love and thunder we got the name for black panther wakanda forever which is awesome by the way i'm excited to see shuri take the mantle of uh black panther that should be really cool we got the name for the marvels and it's not called captain marvel it's called the marvels because um they're gonna have they're gonna have Miss Marvel in there as well, so that should be really cool to see. And then after that, I'm pretty sure there was Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and we're gonna see Kang in there. I'm really excited to see Kang. He's gonna be super powerful, and I'm really excited to see him brought into the MCU. That's gonna be super nice. We saw Guardians of the Galaxy, which is just called Volume 3, because obviously there's Volume 1 and 2. Super excited for that. We'll see Thor in that as well, probably, uh, depending on what path Thor takes some love and thunder and then lastly they kind of showed a teaser for Fantastic Four didn't show any name or anything but they actually showed like um the logo for Fantastic Four and if we get lucky we're gonna see John Krasinski playing in Fantastic Four and that is gonna be super exciting I'm honestly just so hyped for all of these movies it's just gonna be so amazing and like they're they're Marvel's literally releasing four movies a year for us and on top of that we're gonna get a bunch of TV shows as well which is just oh it's a dream come true i can't lie like this is so awesome anyways i've basically talked about the trailer itself now i want to kind of talk about what actually happened and you know what this game is almost over so i think this would be a perfect place to win this game and then kind of just go into the commentary about what happened afterwards so let's just fight this guy over here come on come here gg and uh, let's get into the next game and let's talk about what actually happened 
Also, one thing I forgot to mention, we're also getting Monica Rambeau in the Marvels. I forgot to talk about that in the last game. Anyways, in this game, I'm going to talk about what actually happened with the trailer. So, as I said, the trailer was released May 3rd. And, um, obviously, if you guys don't know, on my main channel, Specular, I'm actually verified. I have 107,000 subscribers. I don't really upload on there anymore, but I am verified. And don't worry, I will be talking about why I'm not uploading on there in a future video. But for the time being, let's just, let's just talk about the fact that I am verified on there and... And, um, basically what happened was, I, I got the notification for the Marvel trailer, except the thing is, I got it really late, okay? This is kind of important. I got the, I got the, like, notification for it really late, because YouTube being YouTube, you know? So, I got it, like, 40 minutes late, and, um, basically, if you guys don't know, Marvel and these, like, huge movie franchises and, you know, just overall, just these, these videos that always go viral and trending and stuff, they're very, it's very, very difficult to get top comment no matter who you are. Obviously, if it was someone like Mr. Beast or PewDiePie, he would comment anything and it would get top comment, but for someone that's kind of completely unknown to the community, at least the superhero and Marvel community, that is specular potato, specular, um, no one knows who I am, so I was kind of shocked when this happened but basically i commented something i don't remember what i commented but i'll put it on the screen now and i got top comment on the marvel video which i just find super cool um i don't know i'm a fanboy i don't know if other people would freak out as much as me i am verified so i guess it takes from it a little bit but the thing is it's it's all kind of relative and it's the fact that like since since that marvel trailer was number one on trending there were hundreds of different verified content creators commenting in that comment section and somehow mine was the one that got top comment which just makes me feel so happy um i don't know it's just the idea that like someone from marvel has actually seen my comment i don't know i i'm, I'm like honestly fanboying right now which is you don't see that very often but i just think it's very very cool um but yeah i got i think i got like thirty-five thousand likes in the first week and i think like 25 of those were in the first day so i got like 25k likes in one day which is absolutely insane for a comment and those of you that have had big comments on videos before you know how crazy that is because trust me it is not easy to do at all even being verified on like a channel that has number one trending it is so hard to get top comment not even the second most liked comment i got top comment which is just super cool in my opinion anyways um at the time i'm uploading this right now uh the comment has 45,000 likes which is just super crazy i think it's super cool um i didn't even make the comment as soon as the trailer came out i made it like 40 minutes late which gives a lot of people time to accumulate likes before me um but yeah i just think it's super cool that I was still able to get top comment and someone from Marvel like there's chance that they saw it because if you think about it top comment if you go on like um your phone and you go to a YouTube video you see the top comment before you click the comment section you see that one comment the top one and there is a chance that like someone from Marvel probably clicked on it on their phone or something and definitely saw it, which is just super cool. Anyways, a lot of you are probably wondering, oh yeah, but Specular, obviously it's going to say top comment for you because you made the comment yourself. Well, that is true, except for the fact that I did log out and I actually went like onto a signed out account so that so that the algorithm wouldn't help me in terms of finding my comment at all. And I was still top comment, which is just so cool. If you scroll through, if you scroll through the trailer, this guy is getting some crazy hits yeah if you scroll through the comments of the trailer there won't be a single comment that has more likes than mine which is just super cool in my opinion anyways yeah um i don't know it just <laughs> this isn't like some crazy marvel topic or anything i just thought it was really cool to talk about and i think it would make for a good video i don't know i just think it's cool i guess i don't know <laughs> i'm just i'm just a fan man honestly i am just a fan i guess i don't even know anymore dude i never thought i would be making a full commentary on getting top comment on a video obviously if it was like a Mr. Beast video, I'd probably do that as well, but I mean, a Marvel video? Like, I didn't expect that. I mean, I'm pretty sure as of now, the trailer has like what like 17 million views it's like 10 to 15 million views between there or something i don't know 10 to 20 million views i don't know the exact amount but it's something between there which is just so high oh my god that is so crazy getting getting top comment on a number one trending video is just so cool and this guy will not stop going for me and it's really frustrating please please go for the other guy you're so annoying okay i'm probably gonna lose my bed but i'm just gonna go for this pink guy i think this is a smart play we get the pink guy and then we use our 
our M's, and then we get the yellow guy. So this should work, I think, theoretically. Okay, there we go. We got him. Uh, we're going to lose our bed here. It should be okay. We're just going to full pot, and uh, we should be able to break this guy's bed, and we should be able to win the game. Like, this game is never going to end if this guy just keeps trading with me, and it's being really annoying, but it is okay. Um, we should be fine. I'm going to get two sets of full pots. Let's go. Um, iron... Good tools, gaps, fireballs, okay. Okay, we got the bed, nice. This guy is so confused. Yep, nice, we got him. Uh, one down, one to go, let's go. Okay, he voided, perfect. We do this, and we should be able to win. Oh my god, he hit me there, okay. And we got him. GG. Um, I know this commentary kind of sucked, and I was low-key, like, or not low-key, no, no, I was definitely a fanboy in this video. Um, anyways, I don't regret it. Sucks to suck. I hope everyone has a great day. Bye!